Hey guys, Connor here at eTrailer.com. Today we're going to be going over and showing you how to install the 7 and 4 pole trailer connector mounting bracket with socket for a 2019 GMC Canyon. So this is what our trailer connector is going to look like installed. As you can see here, it has a very factory-like finished install look. It's going to actually be designed specifically for the cutout in the bumper. As we can see here, here's our dummy plug that we removed. It's going to have the exact same shape, fitting in the exact same cutout. This trailer connector here was specifically designed for this vehicle and the cutout in the bumper. So something I really like about this Hopkins trailer connector here is unlike most other options, it has both a seven way for your larger trailers with brakes and batteries, as well as the four way for the smaller trailers with only lights. So if we have multiple trailers, this is going to be an excellent option because it gives us versatility depending on what trailer we need to pull. So keep in mind, this is a question we do get asked sometimes is, you actually cannot plug both a seven way and a four way into this trailer connector at the same time due to the hinge design and how the lids. Now some people want to use the four way for a tailgate light bar for example, as well as use the seven way, but that's unfortunately not going to work for these plugs here because you cannot open them both at the same time. But while you're not towing, you could definitely still use the four way for a tailgate light bar for example, and then the seven way when you are towing so you can tow your larger trailer. So in regards to installation, again, it's gonna install in a pre-existing cutout in the bumper here. So we're not gonna to have to do any drilling or cutting. We can go ahead and show you how to do that now. So the first step of our installation is we need to locate our factory wiring harness pigtail. This is actually gonna be located on the driver's side directly behind our rear bumper attached to the frame. So if we take a look inside here on the driver frame rail, we're gonna see two wiring harnesses here. This top one here, which has this wire loom on there, if we grab a hold of that, we'll be able to see the ends of our blunt cut wires here. So these are what we're gonna be connecting our pigtail to. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take a trim panel tool. We see this little gray connector. We're gonna go ahead and release that from the frame to give us a little bit more room to work. Just like that. Now we can bring our wires down here Remove some of the electrical tape to give us some more room to work. But these are the wires we're going to be connecting to our harness here. So now we're going to take the wiring harness, we're going to prepare this, get this ready to install it on the vehicle. In order to do that, we're going to take about a quarter inch of the jacket off each of the wires here, and then we're going to attach our butt connectors to the wiring harness in first. Now, these butt connectors here don't actually come in the kit. You do get some in your kit, but these ones are heat shrink butt connectors, which seal around the wires a little bit better. They do a better job of keeping water out and prevent any lighting issues. So if you would like to use these, you can pick these up here at E-Trailer along with your harness. We're gonna need the blue smaller style as well as the larger yellow style. So let's go ahead and connect these now. So now we've got our wiring harness prepped. As you can see here, we use the yellow butt connectors on the larger white and blue wire, whereas the rest of them are just using the smaller blue butt connectors. Now let's go ahead and prep the vehicle side to get ready to splice these on. The first one we're gonna attach is the white wire, which is for the ground. That's gonna attach to the black wire on our harness for the vehicle here. As you can see there, there are the two largest wires. So on the ends of each of the wires coming from the vehicle harness, we're gonna have these uh, heat shrink moldings uh, attached on there. So we need to go ahead and remove those, a set of clippers, and then we can go ahead and splice some of the jacket off, similar to how we did on the harness. And we can go ahead and connect that to our butt connector. I always just like to give them a little tug to make sure they're seated properly. So the next wire we're gonna attach is our blue wire, which is gonna be for the brake output circuit. The blue wire from the pigtail is gonna to go to the blue wire on the vehicle. So now we're gonna take the red wire on our pigtail and attach that to the yellow wire on the vehicle's harness. 
This wire is going to be for the left hand stop and turn signal circuit. Now we'll take the green wire from our pigtail and attach that to the green wire from our vehicle's wiring harness. And this circuit here is going to be for the right hand stop slash turn signal. So now we'll take the black wire from our pigtail and attach that to the orange wire from the vehicle's harness. This circuit here is going to be for the battery charge line. Now we're going to take the brown wire from our pigtail and attach that to the brown wire coming from the vehicle's harness. This circuit here is going to be for the running lights. And the final wire, wire we need to hook up is going to be the yellow wire on our pigtail to the gray wire on the vehicle's harness. And this one is going to be used for the reverse lights. And now that we have all of our connections made, we're going to come back here with the heat gun and seal everything up. Now, if you weren't using these heat shrink butt connectors and you just use the standard ones that came in the kit, you'd want to take some electrical tape and seal those up to prevent any issues. So now that we've let these cool down, I'm actually going to take some electrical tape and I'm going to tape up all these wires so none of them are exposed. So now we need to come onto the outside of our bumper here. We're going to find our dummy plug, which our four and seven way trailer connector is going to replace. That's going to be this plug here. So we need to go ahead and remove this. In order to do that, there's going to be two metal tabs on the back side. We're simply going to pinch together and it should pop right out. Just like that. Now we can take our new trailer connector here and just simply pop it into place. So now we'll come back to the back side here, take our pigtail connector and go ahead and insert it onto the trailer connector we just installed. Keep in mind there is going to be a tab here as well as a locking mechanism on the back. Once we push it in and hear it click, we'll go ahead and push down that gray or white tab there to lock it in place. And there we have it. So now finally, we're going to go ahead and take all of our extra wire along with some zip ties and secure it up to the frame or to some existing wiring to keep it in place. We don't have to worry about it dragging on the ground. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take some dielectric grease here. If you don't have any, that's fine. This isn't a required step. It's just an extra measure of prevention so we don't get any water inside our trailer connector and cause any corrosion, which will in turn create lighting issues. So we do have this city trailer if you want to pick some up, but again, it's not required. It's going to take our grease here. We're just going to coat the pins inside here. So the final step of our installation here, we're going to go ahead and test out our trailer connector and make sure everything's working correctly. Now we're going to be using a plug-in tester here, which we sell here at eTrailer, or you could obviously just use your trailer. Keep in mind, if you do have problems with your trailer, it's going to carry over to our vehicle here. So you need a good way to independently test them, which is why we're using these plug-in testers here. So we have one both for the seven-way portion as well as the four-way portion. So let's go ahead and plug these in now and check everything out. You can see here we have our battery charge line circuit working. Let's go ahead and test out our tail lights now. Follow that up with our brake lights. We have the left hand turn signal, the right hand turn signal, and the reverse lights. Now if you have a brake controller, we can test that out as well now. Now let's go ahead and plug in our four pole tester and test these circuits out as well. There are the running lights, brake lights, left turn, and right turn. So there we go. Now we know everything's functioning properly and it was installed correctly. And that'll do it today for our look and installation of the seven and four pole trailer connector socket with mounting bracket here on our 2019 GMC Canyon.